Let's look at question four. The Swartz family received news that their daughter was selected to go on a sports tour to Bloemfontein. They compared the in-store and online prices of two supermarkets for items needed to prepare meals for the bus tour. Table five below shows the in-store and the online prices of PNP store and W and W store. Right? Um, it's probably pick and pay in Woolworths, but anyways, let's let's look at it. So here it is. Here's the items in store online for pick and pay or PNP, and then in store online for W and W. Don't spend too much time here. Move on to the questions. Let's look. Use table five above to answer the questions that follow. Write down the modal in-store price for PNP store. What does modal mean? Modal means most. Okay, so let's look at the PNP store and it said specifically in-store. Let's see if anything is repeated. No, no, no. These are 17, but they sense are different. There's actually no mode. Okay, there's nothing that's repeated. So they're actually all the mode, <laughs> but because they're all different, we just say no mode. Okay, I'm just going to start a new question. Remember, new question, new page. Okay, so question four, 4.1.1, we say no mode. Okay, then 4.1.2. Determine the number of items where the in-store and online prices are the same for the W and W store. Okay, so let's look. I'm actually going to take a highlighter. It's always good to use a highlighter in these instances because there's a lot of information, so it's easy to get confused. So it said, determine the number of items where the in-store and online prices are the same. Okay, let's look for W and W. No, no, yes, yes. Yes, no, no, yes. So basically saying, where are they the same? Yes, no, yes, yes. Okay, so how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wonderful. Determine the number. So we just say seven. Okay. We don't have to show any working out, right? So don't waste time there. Literally just stay. These ones where there's a few more marks, so we're probably going to have to do a bit more on the um, working outside, but that's okay. A one-way trip to the PNP store is 15 Rand per person. So that's one way, hey? So it means 15 Rand there, 15 Rand back. Calculate how much Mrs. Swartz would be saving if she bought all the items listed in the table directly from the store rather than shopping online. Okay, so... We have to compare, basically, for PNP, we have to compare this and this, okay, in-store and online. But to get to the score, store, it's expensive, 15 Rand there, well, it's not maybe expensive, but it costs you something, 15 Rand there, 15 Rand back. So, let's make sure that we're doing this calculation correctly. So, we say in-store is going to cost me 208,74, that's over there, and then it's going to cost me 15 Rand to get there and 15 Rand to get home. Okay, put that in your calculator. 208.74 plus 15 plus 15, and it's going to be 238,74. Remember to put a rand sign in, okay? Because it did say it was in rand, so that's how much it is in store. Online, right? How much is it online? 261,80. But the question asked us, right? What did it say? Calculate how much. She would be saving if she bought all the items in the ta in the table directly from the store. So we're not done yet. We have to say two six one comma eight zero minus two three eight comma seven four. Okay. So we need to pop that in here. Two six one comma eight zero minus two three eight comma seven four. We pop that in, and the difference is two three comma zero six. That's the difference. That's how much she's saving. Okay, so just be careful that you do every part of it because what happens is students often get to there or there and then they stop. You must make sure that you answer every aspect. Okay. Then it says determine the median. What does median mean? It means middle. Okay, price of the listed items for in-store shopping in the W&W &W store. Now, to get the median, 
It's a bit of work because we have to write them out from the smallest number to the largest number. Okay, excuse me, right? I'm yawning here. <laughs> um, let's do this. Let's order it from the smallest number to the largest number. So I'm going to put it here. Okay, what is our smallest number? 11,95. Tick it off. Then what's next? 12,99. Tick it off. 13,95. Tick it off. Okay, right? You see, we're doing quite well. Then it's 14,99. Tick it off. 15,95. Tick it off. Another 15,95. Careful, just because it's same numbers doesn't mean you don't write it twice. Then we got 20,99, tick it off. Uh, 22,95, tick it off. 23,99, tick it off. Oh, we made a mistake. We didn't look at 18. So I'm going to put it in here. 18,95, tick it off. See, it's easy to make mistakes here. 27,95, tick it off. 29,95, tick it off. Okay, how many were there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've accounted for all of them. It's going from smallest to biggest. Where's my median? My median is going to between, be between 6 and 7, right? Where's the middle of 12? 12 divided by 2 is 6, right? But look, you can also do this, right? You can say 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, right? So you can see that this is the sixth number and that's the seventh number, okay? And we know that the middle of 12 is in here, okay? It's in between 6 and 7, right? Because there's 12 in total. And remember, when, when we do medians and it's an even number of numbers, we're always going to have to add 2 together and divide it by 2, because there's no set middle number. If it was an odd number, right, of total numbers, then we have a middle number, but not in this case, okay? So remember, we've counted. Here are two middle numbers. So we say 15,95 plus 18,95, and we divide it by 2, okay? 15,95 plus, ooh, not divide, plus 18,95, and we divide it by two, and our answer is 17,45, and we're done there, right? Um, and just put a little price in there because it is a round value, because they did ask for, we're working with round values, so we're done there, okay? You see, it's four marks because there's a little bit more involved. Please show this ordering, because you do get marks for this. Show how you figured out your middle numbers, show how you worked it out. Last question for this particular video. Calculate the probability of randomly selecting an item from the pick and pay store where the in-store price is exactly the same as the online price. So similar to what we did with Woolworths, but this time now with pick and pay, okay? And it specifically says in-store. So we're in here. In-store price is exactly the same as the online. So let's look for pick and pay. So there's one, two, where they're the same. Three, these are almost the same, but not exactly. Four, five, six. Okay, so it's six in total. Let's just quickly go and count up how many there are in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, six, six of the twelve, right? Six of the twelve is where you have the same price right? Six of the total 12. It said as a probability, it didn't state as a percentage, it didn't state anything like that. Just remember always to simplify this. If you don't know how to simplify that, just pop it in your calculator. You could also write this as 50% or as 0, 0,5. Okay, and that is your answer. So not a difficult question, but a lot of moving pieces there. Okay, we're done with that. Let's move on to the next one.